they really don't have a good background knowledge of science. Like my first activity I do with them, I have them draw a picture of a scientist, and they all draw a picture of a mad scientist. And we kind of talk about that, and you know, and I ask them if anyone drew a picture of themselves. And um, most of my time, most of the time, almost all the time, none of the kids drew a picture of themselves. So we kind of built that idea: of you're a scientist, and um, <clears throat> they enjoy science. They like the hands-on part of it, but they. But once they see, I have a better understanding of why certain concepts work and why certain other ones don't, they really do grasp the concept and are successful. They make it important to them. I, I, you know, I, we use real life examples. I say, okay, boys and girls, you know, like we're doing engineering this week with my seventh and eighth graders to build in different things. I say, how did you guys get up today? Well, most of them got up with an alarm clock or their cell phones. Well, who designed those? Scientists. So we kind of reinforce the idea that we use science in our everyday lives, even to cross the street. Everything science is important, no matter what career you choose, even if it's not directly a science thing, you use science all the time.